All right, so I got the VSR 880 loaded up uh, with something I just recorded in. Something simple for this um, tutorial. You can do this pretty much with any uh, VSR or VS series that you have a card reader installed in, um, except the 840. The 840 is going to use a different software. It's a little bit different. Uh, so let's see. Let me see what it is. Stop that. Okay. Actually. So. Alright, power the unit off. Take the card out. So now I'll take the card and plug it into my USB card reader. That's connected to the laptop. So you see all four drives popped up. Uh, I think we only got that on one drive right now. Yeah, there they are on E. So, as far as VS uh, Wave Export goes, uh, wherever you have it installed on your computer, let's see, I have it. Um, VS Wave Export. One of the things that you're going to want to do is right click it. Go down to properties, uh, compatibility, and run this program as an administrator. Okay. All right, when you run it as admin, your drive should come up with all the partitions. Uh, if you don't see this and you still ran it as admin, the other thing you can do. Um, is this so I know it's my E drive I can take my E drive and I can drag it over it's not gonna let me do it now because it's already it's already in there but if you don't see it in here if it shows blank no physical drive one you just drag it over So the rest of these should be empty. You'll see a message like this. You don't have any song data on any of the other partitions, which right now I don't. So we'll pull this up. And these are the tracks I have here. I just recorded in. You can individually select which tracks you want. You can go here, select all. This will be start at your first event, or you can change it to start wherever you want. Same thing with the end. It'll go into the last event. Or if you have a time marker that you want to go to, we just check it here, type in the time. I'm just going to do start and end points. Uh, here you would select where you want to export it to. I already got my folder selected. Just hit export. To convert all the tracks, I had six tracks in this, three stereo tracks. Um, into WAV files. So now if I go to that folder, there they are. You can now take these tracks and do whatever you want to do with them. If you want to edit them, uh, if you want to pull them into a DAW, whatever you want to do, you have access to the audio tracks now. So actually, I don't have a DAW installed on here, but I should be able to play the audio. There's 
for that. The drum track. This is well designed like the bass track. That's pretty much it.